just died. Whoa. decided after my Polaris XP 850 began stalling out to replace the fuel pump. I ordered this. It was $185 from Rocky Mountain Polaris part number 9923199. It's a new fuel pump assembly. Biggest problem with this is the fact that have to pull the tank. Best way to pull the tank is to pull the air box. So it was quite a bit of work just to get the tank out. But I went ahead and pulled the tank clear out because there was sediment in it and I wanted to get that out. Um, the stalling problem was when it got hot. On a hot day above 75 degrees it would just die instantly. No, no lights, no engine codes, nothing. It was like it overheated. If you waited for a while to cool it down, it would run for about the same amount of time you let it cool down. And I tried the fix for oil and air box, decided to try that. And I also went ahead and adjusted the TPS sensor which is right here I had to pull the throttle body out and I adjusted it to exactly what factory says 7.7 .7 volts and that helped the idle it helped there's no more oil in the air box, but the stalling out problem continued. So this is my fix for the for the problem. Got to pull quite a bit of stuff loose to really get to it right. There's the old fuel pump. There's a couple things to note on the disassembly and reassembly. One thing is the fuel line. You can see it has this thing. It is snapped in place. You gotta push it back. I kept squeezing and it wouldn't come loose until it got pushed back. It snaps in like that. That's how it is, but you got to push it back. The other thing is the bolt to get to the tank is comes in right there, and that's why you got to remove the air box. There isn't room to get a wrench in there very well, so that's the other thing. 